Welcome everybody. Today, we and Candice are going to go over uploading your database to Chime CRM. So if you're coming from a previous CRM or if you have a list of contacts from another program that you'd like to import over, we'll go through that today. So from here, we're seeing our home screen and I'm going to uh, meander on over to this little um, gears icon in our settings. From there, you can see that I am using beautiful Grace Joy's profile. So thank you so much, Grace. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> and so we're going to go ahead and practice uploading some leads to her profile. And what we're going to be focusing on here is going to be the features tab. And we're going to be looking at the lead import. So one thing I want to let everybody know is that you do have the capability once your database is set up to export that lead data. So if Chime doesn't work out, you find something else, you can always take those leads back and move them over. So yeah, it, it gives you a lot of control over what, you're, what you have. So I'm gonna start off with just clicking this lead import. And what's really great about Chime is it will either walk you through things if you want, so there is a guide me through this um, little button here, and that basically takes you to a little tutorial, but I'm going to go a step ahead and just show you how to do it. So from here, I am going to import, meaning I have a file, and that file has data of various information, and I don't want to sift through that. I don't want to manually input them, so I'm going to just take the entire file. So the file types when you're importing or exporting that we want to keep an eye out for are CSV, XLS and XLSX. So don't ask me what those mean. It's export and import <laughs> language there. So data. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and select a file. Um, I have a list of contacts from one of my other agents here that I'm just going to go ahead and input. So um, I'm not going to complete it just for the sake of keeping leads where they should be, but it'll give you guys a great idea. Um, you'll notice here that once we get the file set in, it's telling me that there is a specific amount of unmatched columns. Excellent. Now, mm -hmm. nothing to be scared about there. Unmatched columns just means that within the file that you provided, Chime doesn't necessarily know what that data is. For example, we have the column of primary email address. You right. can see they don't have spaces. So that's probably why Chime didn't recognize it. So Chime will let you know what the field is within their system versus what they're seeing on your file. So you can kind of determine if the information is accurate. So um, it's going to tell you to please match the columns. That way everything is correct. These all seem to be pretty accurate. You know, birthdays are matching up to birthdays, emails matching up to email. And then we even have um, mailing state is matching up to home state. So Every CRM is going to export information differently. Every user is different, just like every CRM. So what I might call my home phone, you might call your main phone. It is what it is. So once you see and you, you determine that all of these, that, that, that this information is correct, we will just select next. So it is telling me right now that those columns have not or have been matched, have not been matched and will not be imported, meaning that there's either no information provided in a lot of these columns, which you can tell there's not very much data, um, or that it just really could not determine that this cell phone is phone number three, okay? So one thing is keep an eye on what information is here. If it's something that you feel you might be losing, we can always go back and add, and add it in manually. This just means that of this one specific lead, these phone numbers for some reason aren't meshing well with Chime. That's very common and it's easy practice to get around. So we're gonna go ahead and proceed without these 12 columns. Okay, so once you've got those leads uh, imported in, now it's time to determine whose leads they are and how do they work. So for this specific setting, I would always prefer to put them as private leads. Okay. Of course, that's gonna be determined on your team. So um, for the sake of this training, um, this would be your personal database. So you want those leads to go specifically to you. And the way that we have our Chime account set up is we are acting as an entire team as a brokerage. So if you make your leads team leads, anybody would be able to see them. So don't do that. We don't <laughs> want you to do that. Unless you want to share. Yeah, bring them in as private leads. 
Yes, so private leads will only be visible to you and anybody that you have underneath you. Um, just because, again, the way our broker just set up, Rochelle is our team leader. Um, so anything team lead goes to, to the team. So um, you can also assign a specific group if there is a specific tag that you're looking to add these to. So if you went to an event and you prospected and you got lots of contact information, you stored them in your phone, and then you exported your phone file to your computer. What kind of, what did you want to know about those leads that helps you work them in the future? So I went to an event, I went to our upcoming lender survivor event, and I met other agents, and they had a couple of different um, opportunities for me to work with them on the buyer or seller side. So I'm going to put in here, I'm going to create a specific type of uh, tag. For this situation, the tags are already created, so create the tag prior. But then you can go ahead and assign this these leads to a group, which just makes it easier for you to find. So when you're looking through your lead list um, within another page here, you would be able to filter by only those leads that you met at Lender Survivor. That makes it a little easier. So and then you can- add, could, could I add my own group? Yes. Yes, you add the tags prior so that I'll, I'll show you in another video how we can get those uh, leads tagged and how we can get these uh, groups created. But essentially, um, if you had a group in mind, you would create the group prior to importing. Got it. Okay. So once you have the group set up, um, I'm not going to assign these to a group for now. I'm just going to leave it as is. But once you have that set up, you can also set it to determine if your leads are buyers sellers, renters, lenders, or anything else. So I typically prefer to select auto detect. It's usually pretty good about it, depending on the different information that your file has. But of course, if you have any, um, any, if you have more specifics, you know that specifically all of these are buyers or all of these are sellers, you can customize that. So I'm gonna select to auto detect. And then once everything here looks good, you're gonna hit that you agree to import, and then you're gonna hit import. It'll take a few moments, maybe just a, a minute or two to get all of those imported. And then from there, it will be, you'll be able to see it within your lead pond like you normally can. So for right now, we don't have any, but you'd be able to see your leads there. Um, yeah, <laughs> so makes it a little bit easier. You just take the file, you upload it. And then I personally like to go into each lead once they're uploaded, especially when there is that um, column issue where columns aren't merging and they're not matching up. I like to go in and clean my database up and make sure that I have the information I need. So it's a pretty easy process. Um, we can definitely help you out with any um, in integrations that you have, any um, exports or imports that you might need, um, but it's it's a very seamless process. And um, if you wanted to ever export, it's a very easy process as well. Um, whatever is in here, I think we have five leads. You just select export and you'll get that CSV file. Um, it typically emails it to you within about three to four minutes. And then that's yours to use however you so choose. So and so upon exporting, everything is deleted from Chime and it just goes to that CSV file. Or, it's not deleted. Yeah. Basically, oh. what it does is it copies it copies the data and provides you with a digital copy. OK, so if you wanted to delete the leads within here, you would have to manually delete them. But there is an option to multiple select. So you right. to delete all at once or choose all. Delete. <laughs> right. <laughs> So yeah, that's that's the training that we have for you guys today on importing and exporting your leads to Chime. If you guys have any questions or need further training, Candace and I are both available and we also have other Chime resources um, at your fingertips. So keep us involved and let us keep you educated. Let us know if you need anything. Thanks, guys. Have a great day. Thank you.